Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi wahdah Wassalatu wassalamu ala man la nabiyya ba'dah Amma ba'd Asma binti Abi Bakr Radiyallahu ta'ala anha She belongs to a very distinguished Muslim family Her father was none other than Abu Bakr Radiyallahu anhu Who was the close friend of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And also the first khalifa after the demise of the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam her half sister was Aisha radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Her husband Zubair ibn Awam radiallahu anhu was one of the special personnel as aides of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Her son Abdullah ibn Zubair became well known for his services to Islam and his truth and his devotion to Islam. Asma radiallahu taala anha was one of the first persons to accept Islam. It comes in some narrations that there were only 17 persons, both men and women, who became Muslims before her. Asma radiallahu ta'ala anha was given the nickname of Dhatul Nitaqain, basically the one who, the one with the two waistbands. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was migrating from Makkah to Al-Mukarramah to Medina, she, he migrated with Abu Bakr, the father of Asma bint Abi Bakr. At that time, Asma radiallahu anha, she prepared a bag of food and water and she didn't have anything to tie this with. So what she done is she tied it with her waistbands and at that one, the waistband was not enough so she t- t- tore it in half and since then she was given this nickname. Her, as Asma bint Abi Bakr, her son Abdullah, he says that I have not seen two women more generous than my aunt Aisha and my mother Asma. But their generosity was expressed in different ways, he says. My aunt would accumulate one thing after another until she had gained enough and then she would spend it in the path of Allah. Whereas my mother used to not hold anything back. Whatever she got, she used to spend in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.